in-depth sports coverage from The Athletic is now just £1 a month with an introductory offer. See the link in the description to sign up. Barcelona's Ansu Fati turns 18 on October the 31st of this year, but he's already a superstar. And that's why it's so important for Barcelona to ensure that he commits to a long-term contract. The winger made his debut for Barcelona's first team on August the 25th of 2019 at the age of 16 years and 298 days, making him their second youngest player ever. Ernesto Valverde's side were going through a mini-injury crisis and the coach had called the promising youngster up for first-team training, even though he'd never even played for the B-team. He was so outstanding that Valverde gave Fati minutes in the 5-2 home win over Real Batiste. A week later, Fati scored his first Barcelona goal in a 2-2 draw with Osasun. Aged 16 and 304 days, he'd become the youngest ever scorer for Barcelona's first team. And what's been most striking about Fati's rise is his consistency. Fabrice Alenga, for example, became the youngest ever scorer in La Liga history by netting for Malaga in 2012 at 16 years and 98 days, but he never scored for them again. Whereas Fati's records haven't been flukes. He scored seven goals in his first season and then started 2020-21 with a brace in Barcelona's opening game, a 4-1 win over Villarreal. Of course, it's not fair to compare him to Messi. However, it is interesting to note that he hit his first few milestones even quicker than the Argentine. It took Messi 38 games to score his first 10 goals. It took Fatty 34. So it's clear that he's a major talent. But the same certainty does not yet exist over his contract situation. On July the 24th, 2019, before he'd even debuted with the first team, Fatty signed a contract that had an end date of June 2022 and a release clause of 100 million euros. On December the 4th, 2019, after it had become clear just what a talent Fatty was, he signed a new deal with improved terms. The end date remained 2022, although Barcelona announced that this could be extended by a further two years. The release clause, meanwhile, rose from 100 million euros to 170 million with a note that this would spike to 400 million euros as soon as Fatty was officially registered as a first-team squad member and given a shirt number between 1 and 25. Until then, he'd been playing with the number 31 on his back and was still registered as a youth player. So in the summer of 2020, a couple of interesting developments took place with regards to Fatty's long-term future. The first was that he swapped agents. Fatih was born in Guinea-Bissau, but moved to Spain with his family when he was six and initially joined Sevilla's academy, before switching to La Masia at the age of 10. As he climbed through the various youth categories there, he was represented by Mingea Football Management, led by Josep Maria Mingea, who'd been a key figure in both Diego Maradona and Lionel Messi's moves to Barcelona. But Fatih moved away from the Mingea agency as he negotiated his July 2019 contract renewal. Officially, his agent was then his father, Bori Fati, while he was also represented by Messi's brother, Rodrigo. Rodrigo was also in the picture for the December 2019 renewal, but the Fati family spent the first months of 2020 looking for a new representative as the relationship between the Messi family and the club's hierarchy soured. And this is where, inevitably, George Mendes came in. On August the 19th, 2020, it was announced that Fati had become the latest Gestafute client. Now, the second development in the summer of 2020 was that Fatty was officially promoted to the first team squad. He was given the shirt number 22, and this automatically raised his release clause from 170 million euros to 400 million, per the deal that had been negotiated by Rodrigo Messi. However, there was confusion and conflict over the end date. Barcelona maintained that they had a unilateral option to extend Fatty's contract for a further two years, taking the end date to 2024 if they decided to trigger it. And why wouldn't they? George Mendes and Gestafute, however, disputed that. The argument was that this unilateral two-year extension clause was invalid since Fatty signed that contract as a minor, and Article 18.2 of FIFA's regulations on the status and transfer of players doesn't allow for under-18s to sign contracts longer than three years. Barcelona, though, told sources that Spanish law overrules this and that it allows players over the age of 16 to sign a contract of any length. In any case, a brand new contract is expected to be negotiated in the near future, given that Fatty is currently one of the lowest earners in the first-team squad despite being a regular starter. 
and the terms here will be dictated by Mendes, the most influential agent in the sport and the one who certainly boasts more experience than Messi's brother. Already, since becoming Fatty's agent in August, Mendes has alerted the Barcelona directors to potential offers for his client from other clubs. He holds all the leverage, and reports in the Spanish media claim he wants Fatty to be the third highest player after Messi and Antoine Griezmann. While Fatty's emergence on the pitch has been a valuable tonic to Barcelona's fans over the past two seasons, his future may yet cause a headache. The Athletic is in-depth sports coverage that helps fans see the game from every angle. And Tifo is delighted to be able to offer full access to The Athletic now for just £1 per month. See the link in the description for details of this introductory offer. For football fans, that's access to the writing of journalists dedicated to your team, plus David Ornstein, Phil Hay, Daniel Taylor and many more. Not to mention over 400 full-time writers offering inside access and independent analysis of every team that you follow across every league that you care about. Get local expertise and unmatched league-wide perspective. The Athletics writers are in the bubble, on the field and behind the scenes as it all happens. Catch up, go deep and join the conversation on the most important happenings in sports.